All right, so the 2021 Honda Goldwing, the bike I am riding right now. Sorry, I had to scratch my nose. So I'm coming off of a ride uh, from the Dubuque area, Dubuque, Iowa. I love riding along the Mississippi River and going up toward La Crosse, Wisconsin, crossing over into Wisconsin. At that point you're in Minnesota, crossing into Wisconsin, coming down and following the Mississippi on the east side, back down in Dubuque. It's a good six to eight hours with stops and chilling and eating. Uh, it's a really good day of riding and this weekend, 4th of July weekend, 2022, was an awesome weather weekend. Not a, not a drop of rain, clear skies as you can see, beautiful. So I am heading home and thought, wow, I've got some time to review the 2021 Honda Goldwing DCT, dual clutch transmission for those of you who don't know what that means. So a little history of me and touring bikes. I prefer touring bikes or sport touring bikes. Uh, I like the stance of them. I have cruisers and I have sport bikes, but I like the touring stance. I like the distance of the bottom of my feet to the bottom of my seat. And uh, I can stay in that position for a long time. And I don't know, it feels like I can be a little more aggressive when I want to. I come from a sport, bag, sport bike background. Say that 10 times in a row. So it's nice to be able to keep that. Uh, although cruisers are nice um, because, you know, you can stretch out even a little bit more. Um, you can put highway pegs on this bike if you wanted to. I'd probably have to take off the side deflectors. Uh, wind deflectors that I have on because that way then I'm not stretched out too far but the 21 Goldwing I'm gonna start right off the top uh, by saying this is my third Goldwing that I've owned I had a 2007 and a 2012 and uh, man love them both of those bikes were the same generation, although they changed a little bit in, two, I think, 2012, where they changed a little bit of the styling, but in essence, it was the same bike. Both bikes had the traction full Mega Monte suspension upgrades put onto them, plus a couple of other things. Always changed out the seat, like I did on this one, added uh, wings, uh, the little wings on the side of the bike to deflect air, a um, bunch of other little things. My upgrades are almost always functional, not form. So if they perform a function, then that's when I'm gonna get them. If they're just for looks, I don't get them. Okay, so two previous Goldwings got this one last year in 2021, and it was a DCT, and I thought, ah, I'll try basically a $30,000 scooter. Um, <laughs> now I have other bikes that have clutches and such, so it's fine, but, but I wanted to give it a shot, and uh, man, I am really impressed with the DCT. Uh, slow moving, uh, you know, like slow maneuvers and such, eh, still nothing like having the friction zone of a clutch, a hand clutch. Um, I've gotten used to it, but it is not always perfect. And sometimes it'll lurch and stuff. You just gotta be really careful and have some finesse. But 95% or more of your riding is gonna be like what you see me doing right now, cruising on the highway, cruising around town. And uh, for that, the DCT is wonderful. And right now I have the bike on cruise control, doing just under 70 and uh, loving it. Not a lot of traffic on this Sunday. It's uh, July 3rd, 2022. Love it. Okay, so what else do I have? So you can, you can see what my uh, perspective is. I've got a 2018 Harley Road King, a 2019 Harley Ultra Limited. I've got a 21 Kawasaki Ninja 1000 that I just had the full exhaust changed on it. It's awesome, great bike. I have a 2014 Yamaha FJR 1300 ES. Got a uh, 2021 Kawasaki Versys 1000, which is basically has the same engine as what's on the Ninja. It's just more, uh, it's a taller bike. It's more enduro kind of look to it. If you know what a Kawasaki Versus is. 
And I also have a Suzuki C50T, which is basically kind of my cheap bike. And I don't ride it very much. It's really for friends who don't have a bike and want to ride but have their license or their permit or whatever. And So I got it for that. I actually originally got it before I bought both Harleys. Thinking now I'll just get a cruiser. And I'm like, oh, I can't. I can't ride on this long distances. Then I ended up getting two Harleys. <laughs> I'll probably sell it. We'll see. All right, back to the 21 Goldwing DCT. All right, let me start off the bat with the things I don't... I wouldn't say I don't like them, but they're the things I like the least about the bike because I love the Honda Goldwing. I mean, obviously, this is my third one, even though this is a new generation compared to the last two I had. So, number one, suspension. Eh, the suspension on gold wings is soft at best. Uh, it will bottom out on uh, if you do some heavy riding. Now, caveat. If you're just doing what I'm doing right now, you know, the, the stock suspension is fine. Uh, but I'm going to have Max McAllister upgrade it and get the traction, T-R-A-X-X-I-O-N, suspension put on plus a, a few other things. He's an awesome engineer, has a great company down in Georgia, and does a lot of stuff for Goldwings and some other bikes, but primarily Goldwings. So he's got some good suspension, uh, spring upgrades, uh, some stuff for the fork, uh, some stuff that helps resolve some of the things that I dislike, which I'll share more of. Um, but I, you know, I'm an aggressive rider, and I want the aggressive suspension. Okay, so suspension, not, you know, if you're gonna, like I said, if you're gonna just cruise and float on the highway, you're fine. But if you're gonna, you know, go two up, you're gonna carry a lot of luggage, you're hitting some bumps, you're maybe hitting some turns aggressively with all that, you're gonna bottom out, you're gonna feel like you don't have a lot of control on the bike. Um, uh, suspension upgrade is something good. So, suspension. Uh, I wish it was a little bit better. Even just a better spring probably would be better for the rear. Okay, so with that, uh, the DCT in slow maneuver circumstances. Still, as, as, uh, as much of a pro of riding motorcycles as I am, and I think I've got the hang of this bike, about 2,000 miles on it, uh, slow maneuvers are still weird without the friction zone of a clutch. Okay, so I mentioned that before. Uh, so that's the only part of the DCT I don't like. It shifts well, it's beautiful, it's smooth. Uh, the different shift modes are great. <coughs> Excuse the cough. The slow maneuvers, eh, don't like it. Uh, the other thing, uh, the dipstick for the oil. I know that sounds weird, but it's really small and it's hard to get to. And when the engine's warm and you got to get in there, you can burn yourself or whatever. Uh, so I wish they had a little bit bigger dipstick, like an extension. A belly pan. I wish most bikes don't. So, you know, there's a big wish list, but this is a simple thing. I wish it had a belly pan to protect the underside of this bike. This is a $31,000 motorcycle or 32, whatever. Depends on when you buy it and what options you get. I mean, it would really suck to have something, some rock shoot up and just ruin the bottom edge of the bike and now you got leaks and broken stuff and so I wish it had that I don't like that it doesn't have that uh, the GPS GPS isn't that great at least it has it uh, unlike like the BMW K1600 which you got to hook up your phone in order to use the GPS from your phone uh, GPS is okay it's better than nothing really it is um, but it, you know, one of the things I don't like about it is you can't turn off the prompts. So if you're listening to music and jamming it, and the a woman comes on and says, turn right here, it just ruins the mood. I wish you could turn that off. But the GPS in general is kind of a Honda, you know, GPS. It's okay. If you're going to do point to point, it'll get you there. Um, but there are some better features and some external GPSs that I like better. And some of my other bikes, I do have a Garmin GPS and a mounting system to it, so I can move it from bike to bike. So, don't like that. Really, other than those... Oh, 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 last thing, last thing. The stock seat. Horrible. There's not a Japanese bike uh, with a stock seat that I liked. 
every single one of my bikes, I have changed over the seat. This one has a Corbin heated seat and uh, love Corbins. I've had on my previous Goldwings uh, Ultimate seat and oh gosh, I forgot the one where the, uh, the guy, he, he takes your seat and remolds it. Gosh, I'm not doing him justice. Uh, but he did really good on my first bike, my first Goldwing, 2007. Uh, the stock seats are horrible. I couldn't last an hour, maybe an hour. And I was like, I gotta get off this thing. And it took a good 10, 10 minutes for me to get used to it. Now the seat that I have on here is still kind of getting broken in. Um, probably has about a thousand miles on it right now, but um, boy, it's comfortable. The rear seat's comfortable. The backrest, love it, is very comfortable. Um, you know, but there's so many other brands out there that are good. Stock seat, horrible. They said they upgraded the seat in 2021. They didn't. <laughs> the only thing they really upgraded was the uh, trunk, which is bigger than the 2018, 2019, and 2020. Uh, when, man, if you bought a 2020 Goldwing and then 2021 had the much larger trunk where you can actually fit two helmets in, man, I would be mad. The 2018, not too bad because I've had it for a few years and, you know, so be it. But anyway, 2021, bigger trunk. Uh, but the seat, horrible, horrible, horrible seat. Um, that's it for what I don't like or wish was kind of added. Um, and what I wish was added are very low cost things, but I think things that would just make the bike a little bit better. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. There is one last thing. Uh, and it's very rare, but if, if your key fob, you know, this is wireless, uh, key fob start and ignition. If your key fob dies or you lose it or whatever, the startup procedure on this bike takes you about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes. The first time, probably about 10 minutes. Uh, it is very complicated, very convoluted. I know why they try to make it complicated because they don't want people just walking up and stealing your bike. But you need to have a code anyway, and you got to do certain things on the on the handlebars to type in a specific code, and really a mess. Uh, there are better ways to do it. In fact, BMW <coughs> on their keyless system does a much better job. Uh, but that's it. Okay, so those are the bad things. The things I like, I love the look of this bike. I always have, even the previous generation. I love the feel of riding this bike. Now, right now I'm just on the highway, I'm not doing anything crazy, but I just came off of two days of, you know, basically canyon carving. I switched backs and changed in elevation and, you know, 70, 80 mile an hour down to 30 mile an hour and quick succession and, you know, uh, flip flop turns and curves and, Boy, this bike can do all of that. Now with the better suspension, it's gonna do that even better. But even on the highway right now, I've, I've had this thing on cruise control since I've started talking with you guys. And uh, man, it's just comfortable. Easy to fall asleep. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, just a comfortable ride. The engine, solid engine, smooth, quiet. If I want loud, I'll ride my sport bike or my Harleys. This bike, I just want to cruise and enjoy uh, the beautiful weather, the uh, maybe music if I'm playing music. And uh, yeah, I mean, this bike, it just feels good. And I said, like, I, I like the look of it. Uh, I like uh, this generation now has the uh, windscreen uh, is adjustable via a switch rather than having to, if you guys are Goldwing uh, owners and know the previous generation, you know, you had to do like this kind of mechanical lift thing and lock it into place and flip these two levers, one on either side to lock it in. Uh, this one, you literally raise it and lower it. Now I have an aftermarket um, shield on mine, which is a little bit wider. Normally they cut here, but you can see it's a little wider. F4 Customs, by the way, love them. Um, but I like that, like that feature. What else do I like about it? I like the seating position. I kind of told you about that around my touring. I like the styling. I actually don't think that they went too crazy on the front. They did quite a bit, but it still looks great. But you can tell it's a Goldwing right away as soon as you look at it, um, even though it was a new generation in 2018. So I like the looks of it. I love the DCT. The dual clutch transmission is beautiful, smooth on this bike, except for low speed, um, but I like that. Uh, I like the trunk, 
and uh, pannier space, plenty of space. Uh, one of my uh, panniers, or saddlebags if you want to call it that, um, is a little smaller because I upgraded the audio system to the Honda Auto audio system and it adds an amp that takes up a, a little bit of room in one of the bags. But that's okay, I, you know, I don't mind. Um, most of my riding is going to be solo, so if I feel like I need more space, I'll uh, put something in the back seat. Um, so, like the trunk space, especially with the 2021 and after, because before 2021, the 18, 19, and 20 model year, they had a smaller trunk. Um, so, um, like the trunk and pannier space. Uh, let's see, ease of maintenance, uh, pretty easy to maintain. The oil changes aren't too bad. I've got a lift, which is nice, makes it easy. Can get it off the ground and get it eye level. Um, but, you know, it's three bolts and you drain it. Uh, getting the um, oil filter is pretty easy. So doing the, the standard maintenance is pretty easy. Even working on the bikes. I mean, all these new bikes have a lot of plastics you've got to take off and such. But uh, this bike is great. And everything else about the bikes, I mean, the mirrors don't shake at all. I mean, they're perfectly smooth. The bike is smooth. Uh, I love the, um, the ability to switch the transmission stances, chore, sport, rain, eco, which is uh, just helps save on gas a little bit. I'm not actually sure how they do it, but <laughs> um, it does. I'll have to read up on that. I don't think it allows you to gun it. I don't think it throws a lot of gas in the engine. Um, no matter what. I guess it's like uh, similar to the rain mode. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how they do it, but I like the different modes. And uh, for a stock suspension, if all I was going to do is do this kind of stuff, I like the stock suspension. It's okay. Um, but I already talked about that a little bit. And the rest of the bike, I just really like. I mean, are there little things? Yeah. But man, if you're you know, now my first Goldwing I bought, I think it was 35 or 36. It was a 2007 Goldwing. You know, I, I get it, you know, Goldwing, it, it kind of has an old man connotation, but um, this one, the, next, the latest generation, is really geared toward kind of the younger, newer rider does it. Do well with that? Eh, better than the old one for sure. Um, it's definitely more sleek. It's got some technology on it that's a little more advanced than the old one uh, previous generation but um, I don't know how young they're gonna get with this I'm 51 uh, but if I were 36 again I would buy another one now this wasn't my only bike when I had it back then I had several others you know I had sport bikes and cruiser a couple touring bikes you know if I were 35 and I was gonna get one bike it would probably be more of a sport touring like my FJR 1300, something like that. Um, or back then they had the ST 1300, which I had before I bought the Goldwing. Um, yeah, but but this bike, and it's easy to maneuver in small area. I mean, just as far as its balance. You know, I told you about the DCT and slow slow movement. This kind of can be a little bit of a trick there. Uh, but man, this bike is great. So out of all the big tourers out there past and present the Goldwing just has it down they just they've been at it for so long uh, they know what they're doing yeah there's the BMW and then there was the uh, was the Indian had one for a while and there was a couple out there but really the the top dogs right now are really the Goldwing and the K1600 I mean, nobody's really making a bike similar to these at this point. Unless I'm mistaken. Um, thinking about all the bikes, I mean, you know, and some kind of cross the line between Cruiser and Tourer, maybe, you know, so could be something there. But anyway, the Honda Goldwing, love it, rock solid, reliable engine, um, good quality fit and finish. Uh, a few nitpicky things, but other than that, this is a great bike. So, uh, that's the end of my review. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and if you're thinking about getting a Goldwing, I would highly recommend you taking one out for a ride and trying it. Maybe they'll let you keep it overnight or something, depending on your dealer. 
But uh, yes, buy it, keep the rubber side down, and enjoy your life. Take care.